Welcome Scorpios. We got something to talk about. We got something to talk about. Can we talk for a minute? <laughs> Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in, guys. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Go ahead and hit that like button on the way in because we got something to talk about, all right? We got something to talk about, okay? All right, so if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Go ahead and click that bell to subscribe so you won't miss out on any notifications. Go ahead and share with your family and your friends. And comment below if this message resonates with you okay so uh, let's talk about this guys all right so some of you guys are feeling afraid and feeling stuck okay you may feel as if you're not sure which way to go or how things are going to go and you're kind of possibly being really quiet okay you might have Someone here is being quiet. We got mute. Or someone is being too quiet, and it's kind of like scary that they're being this quiet, okay? I got that as well, all right? Now, the first card we have is signs, okay? Signs. <laughs> so some of you could actually be like taking a road trip or, you know, on the road or whatever. But for some of you, you may have been seeing or noticing you know, notice the things. This could be numbers, synchronicity. This could be songs that are playing on the radio. You may have, oh, this is a sign. Oh, this person does this. That must be a sign. Oh, this happened today. That must be a sign. Let's see what's going on. Why are signs here? Well, you know what? Before we do this, I need to see what the romance angels got to say. I need a little bit more insight, okay? Keep in mind, guys, this message can be vice versa, all right? So, let's see what we got, okay? What message do you have for Scorpios? True love and getting to know each other. Flirt. Okay, so... You may be getting to know somebody a little bit deeper, but you're flirting a lot, which isn't a surprise. <laughs> you guys may be flirting a lot, okay? And you may be flirt flirting your way right into a karmic situation. I feel like you were taking things as they came in the past. You was getting to know somebody a little bit deeper. Why are signs here? Like you started to notice something about this person. Queen of Wands reverse. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Leo Sagittarius Aries energy. But, you know, the Queen of Wands reverse, she's nothing to play with. She's spicy. She's hot. She's a go-getter. She, she puts herself out there. You know, she's all about having fun and... The attitude is, you know, she's, she has it, that spiciness. But maybe you're starting to notice that this person, you know, how this person responds or reacts to certain things. Yeah. I got the tower, which is you guys' energy and the five of swords reverse. okay? So there could be a little bit of jealousy going on or a little bit of conflict. Yeah, the Ace of Swords reverse. I feel like you felt you you were trying to get to know somebody a little bit better, or vice versa. Um, maybe you feel like this person is wearing a mask; they aren't revealing them true selves. Yeah, the the Death card. This is you guys' energy as well. But maybe you've not been in communication with this person, or you just feel like this person like is not telling the whole story, or isn't giving you the full truth. I feel like you may feel as well as somebody is being manipulative or you guys are trying to be manipulative. I see a, a big player here, okay? So there's something that you don't know or something that you're not telling someone or vice versa. Um, maybe you're communicating with this person and you just feel like they're a player and they're not telling you. Like, you don't have all the details about this person. 
Okay, I do see presently there is a lot of flirting going on. We got the moon in reverse, Cancer, or Pisces is energy. But uh, this is things that are hidden, okay? Maybe you're trying to keep it a secret. But I feel like we got karmic partner here. We got karmic partner. And there's flirting going on. Okay, what is this? Mm-hmm. Nine of Wands and the Seven of Cups. You have to be careful with your options. You got to be careful. Like I said, the Moon card here as well with the Seven of Cups and the Nine of Wands. Okay, you got to keep your, card, your guard up, okay? But I feel like you are. I feel like you're being very cautious. You want to make sure that you kind of possibly keep your options open. Yeah, see, <laughs> we got the fool here, all right? You're being careful before you take this leap, before you risk anything, you're being careful. Because I feel like you guys are dealing with, if you're not careful, you'll jump right into something that you'll possibly look back at later and be like, you know, damn it, I shouldn't have did that or I shouldn't have moved like that. Um, the situation could just be really toxic or, or you could be put in a karmic situation. Okay, so for future energy, I have true love and I have return. Okay, so it looks like somebody is returning. It looks like somebody is returning here. It looks like somebody is returning. I got King of Cups that wanted to jump out. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this is you guys' energy. Yeah, see, somebody walked away, um, but now they're returning. Okay, so somebody left and then they're coming back. Eight of Pentacles. Now they're going to be trying to communicate with you, trying to call you, trying to reach out to you. Yeah, they're going to be trying to, yeah, they're going to be trying to come back. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Six of Cups, yep. After they threw everything away. After they threw everything away, they dumped everything out and said they didn't want it anymore. Now they want to come to you telling you their feelings and how they feel and, you know, how they love you and all this flirting and stuff like that. But someone left and now they want to return, okay? Now they want to try again. They want to try again. Look at this. Somebody wants to try again. Now, I'm not sure if it's you or them, but somebody most definitely left and they are coming back to confess their true feelings, <laughs> how they really feel, and they're going to want to try again. Okay, that's like a start over, a redo. Let's, I want to redo. <laughs> I want to do this over. Woo, okay. Let's see what the angels have to say. Ooh, okay. Baby, give me one more chance. <laughs> All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have wait. And then we also have look for a sign. Look for a sign. So I feel like you guys are being very cautious, though. I feel like you're not just going to open up to this person. But it looks like the ball is in your court because we got it's up to you. It's up to you. All right. And we have no need to worry. I don't feel like you guys are worried at all. I don't feel like you guys are really stressed out about this situation at all. But then we got to let go. Okay. Um, some of you are going to be waiting, looking for a, another opportunity. Okay. Some of you are waiting for something better to come along. Like, I feel like you, some, a lot of you feel like I already, I already tried this with you. And it just didn't work. I want to see why let go is here. Yeah, some of you are, you know, ready to take a leap of faith, ready to try something new, okay, with the full part being there. I feel like a lot of you guys lost patience, and you're tired of, ooh, some of you are tired of things being a secret or some or this big secret. So maybe this is something that's on the low that, you know, you don't really want to get out. Yeah, see, some of you are giving up, want to give up on the situation and try something new. A lot of you feel like, you know, I'm going to just let this, I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it slide. I'm going to let it go. All right. So I hope this message was helpful for you guys. You guys let me know how you feel about this read in the comment section below. If you want to book your very own personal reading, guys, information is in the drop box. I will chat with you guys later. Ciao.